Hey, let's play Ultima 6 and a false prophet. I've been talking about this for a while in my other um, let's play of Revenge of the Evil Aliens. And this is a spe very special let's play because this is not the PC version. This is the FM Towns version, which is the Japanese PC, basically. And there are a few things gonna see that's different from the original, like um, there's a bit more screen space which they don't utilize very much, and um, the music's different, better in places or worse than others if you ask me, and the sound effects are infinitely better than the PC original, and there's no cheating, which kind of sucks for me, because I've never played this game without cheats. Um, so, yeah, oh yeah. And the main part is that since this was made for a Japanese PC, they put it on CDs and they actually added voice acting. Really horrible voice acting. And we're all gonna suffer through that and, you know, hopefully have a giggle about it. So, I'm going to start this thing now and create a character. <coughs> By what name shalt thou be called? Well, I'm Aniko, so it's going to be my name. I'm female, thank you. Ooh, look, portraits. Some weird samurai looking thing. This chick. <laughs> I don't know, she looks a little crazy to be an avatar. She looks a little ugly to be an avatar. Huh. Huh. I'm actually kind of torn between the white haired chick and this one. But she has like a sword dangling from her ear, which means she has to be cool. This one looks a bit <laughs> So yeah, we don't want that one. We're gonna go with this one. Not that it really matters. Welcome, O Seeker. Lonely stroll along an unfamiliar forest path brings you upon a curious gypsy wagon, its exotic colours dappled in a summer shade. A woman's voice rings out with friendship, beckoning you into across the wagon's threshold and as it happens, into another life. That's a pretty cool gypsy, isn't it? At last thou hast come to fulfil thy destiny, the gypsy says. She smiles, as, in, as if in great relief. Sit before me now, and I shall pour the light of virtue into the shadows of thy future. On a wooden table, eight bottles stand, a rainbow of bubbling liquids. Behold the virtues of the Avatar, the woman says. Let us begin the casting. Okay, this is like a quiz that um, determines what your stats are going to be at the start. And I actually have to look something up. So, yeah. Let me just do that. Okay. Basically, if you are compassionate, you get two dexterity. If you're honest, you get two intelligence. If you're honorable, you get one dexterity, one intelligence. If you're just, you get one strength, one intelligence. If you're sacrificial, you get one strength, one dexterity. If you're spiritual, you get one strength, one dexterity, one intelligence. If you're valorous, you get two strength. And if you're humble, you get nothing. You get nothing. So basically what the virtues are telling us is that being humble is shit. That nobody humble has ever amounted to anything, which, you know, I guess might be true, but I'm not sure that's really what the virtues are trying to say. Anyway. Thou art sworn to uphold the Lord who doth participate in the forbidden torture of prisoners. Each night their cries of pain reach thee. 
dost thou a. show compassion by reporting the deeds, or b. honor thy oath and ignore the deeds. Okay, let's see. Compassion is two dexterity, and honor is one dexterity and one intelligence. I'm not a very big spellcaster, so I'm gonna be compassionate and report the deeds. Yes, I am being a twink. Deal with it. Ooh, yellow. Thou hast been sent to secure a needed treaty with a distant lord. Thy host is agreeable to thy proposal, but insults thy country at dinner. Dost thou a valiantly bear the slurs, or b justly rise and demand an apology? Okay, do I want to be valorous? That's two strength. Or just? That's one strength, one intelligence. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be be valorous. Isn't that humble, though? I hope that's not I hope you, humility in disguise because I'm gonna be pissed. Ooh, red. Thou art an elderly, wealthy merchant. Thy end is near. Dost thou aye sacrifice all thy wealth to feed hundreds of starving children? Receiving public adulation, or B, humbly live out thy life, willing thy fortune to thy heirs. Crap. Strength one, dexterity one is sacrifice, and the other ones it's humility, and you get nothing. A, please. Thy friend doth seek admittance to thy spiritual order. Thou art asked to vouch for his purity of spirit, of which thou art uncertain. Dost thou A. Honestly express thy doubt, or B. Vouch for him, hoping for his spiritual improvement. Okay, so that's honesty and spirituality. And spirituality is three fucking points. Yes, please. I'll have some spirituality. Ooh, that's white. I like white. He's more purple. Um, thou dost manage to disarm thy mortal enemy in a duel. He is at thy mercy. Dost thou A. Show compassion by permitting him to yield, or B. Slay him, as expected of a valiant duelist. Okay, that's compassion, which is two dexterity, and valor, which is two strength. And I can't remember what I got before, so I'm gonna go with compassion, because I know I've taken valor before. Thou hast spent thy life in charitable and righteous work. Thine uncle the innkeeper lies ill and asks thee to take over his tavern. Dost thou a sacrifice thy life of purity to aid thy kin, or b decline and follow the call of spirituality? And again it's spirituality versus sacrifice which is just not as good. I'll have some more spirituality, please. Thou hast been taught to preserve all life sacred. A man lies fatally stung by a venomous serpent. He prays for a merciful death. Dost thou A. Show compassion and kill the bastard? Or B. He dies spiritual beliefs and turn away? I'll have yet some more spirituality, thank you. Oh, damn, we're all out of spirituality. The path of the avatar lies beneath thy feet, where the Enico gypsy intones. With a mysterious smile, she passes you the flask of shimmering liquids. Drink of these waters and go forth among our people who shall receive thee in joy. I actually don't know where the bloody heck gypsy comes in. I mean, I went through a moon gate and, as you will soon discover, I'll be captured by gargoyles. So. Where's the gypsy? Is she is, is she in Britannia? Is she in between Earth and Gargoyle lands? Is she just... I just don't understand, Origin. I don't understand. Can you... Ex can anyone explain this? If you, if you uh, can explain this to me. I mean, I'm all ears. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna continue. As you drink from the flask, vertigo overwhelms you. A soothing mist obscures the gypsy's face, and you sink without fear into untr untroubled sleep. Um. Yeah. 
and this is 10 minutes, so until next time.